I smell a skunk. Like really bad. Like a <laughs> like I should probably not stand here much longer. What's up everybody? I am back here at the beautiful Green Lane Reservoir. About to do my trail run for my long run for the week. And if you watch my channel, you know I like to trail run in sandals. And I've hinted a few times about getting eventually run specific sandals. And everybody had questions on what exactly a run specific sandal was. And I said I'd get one. And finally, here I am. Finally got some in the mail. So I'm going to dive into these. And I'll show you what I got. Here they are. More Luna sandals. But these are the Leadville edition. A little thinner than what I usually wear. Now right here is what I normally wear. I normally wear the Mono Winged Edition, which are mainly supposed to be all round sandals, hiking, just everyday wear. And these trail specific. And the big difference is apparently the rubber compound, how thin it is. Get a little comparison there to the thickness. Definitely thinner. And the big thing, which I was pretty excited about, was what they call the tech strap. And that, oh, here they are. So this strap goes across the top and it's supposed to give you more support to stop the sandals from moving a whole lot while you run. Which I do get blisters once in a while when I do long runs in the my Mono Winged Editions. So I'm excited to give these a shot and see how better they perform or how they perform in general. Vibram, look at that. I just noticed that. Is that the company that makes those five finger shoes? I have no clue. So I'm going to get these things strapped up, learn about the tech straps, and then we're going to get on our long run so I can get back to the family. On the trail, about to start, waiting for my Garmin to eventually pick up a GPS signal. So I want to show you really quick on these new sandals. Now this is the first time I've I'm ever seeing these things, but I'm so used to that mono winged edition, that wing referring to that piece of uh, plastic that comes up from the top. But as you can see here, these are straight up attached to the bottom. They go right through and the tread's not that big. So I'm wondering how I'm gonna feel it and how long those straps will last. And I smell a skunk, like really bad. Man, then wouldn't that just suck? Getting sprayed by a skunk at the beginning of a run. Do you finish the run or do you go home? I probably finished the run. It's only over there. I'm gonna go this way. All right, but my GPS is ready. Sandals are on. So I'm gonna start talking as I start running and we'll get to it. The first thing I noticed with these sandals is that they fit so much more snug than my other ones. Now, obviously that's probably a, a me issue. I really need to learn how to cinch those things down and strap them right. But even though these feel a lot more snug, that tech strap that goes over the ankle area, it makes it even more snug. It feels so firm, supportive. It feels great. Do I go that way or that way? Go this way. Another thing to note is that thickness. I definitely feel the ground a lot more than the last sandals. Feel, I call it feel. So today's gonna be a longer day, longer day on the trail. I'm not gonna record this whole thing. So I'm gonna put the GoPro away, unless I see something interesting. And I'll be back at the end to give my final thoughts on the first run with the Luna Sandals Leadville Edition. See you at the end. Run is done. About 10.5 miles. And one of my favorite things about coming to this place. A little simple and silly. Old school well. I love it. So 
So 10 and a half miles in the new sandals. What am I thinking? Well, first off, a big annoyance. For my first like nine miles, I ran with a, a loose sandal, I guess. I mean, they felt a lot more snug than my last ones, but this strap right here kept falling down to about there all the way through. I would slow down, fix it, and a few feet later, be right back down. It wasn't until mile marker about nine, and keep in mind I ran 10 and a half miles, that my right sandal just fell off completely. You know, just dangling from my toes. I got frustrated. I mean, I gotta, if I'm about to run in a 50K with these sandals, I need to figure them out. So in my frustration, I thought, you know, what do I do? Just cinch this down like crazy? So I did, I took my the tech strap here, and I just cinched it down. And for the last mile and a half, it was fine. So I'm a genius. These are a lot more snug than my last sandals. I think this is the first time running in sandals where I have not gotten blisters. So that's a big plus. One downside to running in sandals, these included even though they're being snug, is that when you run downhill, your toes get jammed by this thing right here, this little toe strap. It's a little annoying. It's just a, a weird feeling. It doesn't hurt. It's just weird. And lastly, if I remember correctly, they use a different material for their, their soles here, for their sandals. It's a softer rubber. It's not meant to last as long as these sandals here, but they are softer and you can feel a lot more with them. And the rocks, a nice size rock, I want to say it doesn't like protrude through, but you do feel the shape of the rock. I guess that's good for getting traction. I mean, it didn't hurt, but I definitely knew what I was stepping on. So all in all, I'm happy. Uh, like I said, no blisters, nothing hurts. I figured out the straps, that's a plus. So I guess I can't complain. Gonna give them some time, keep running in them, see how I like them. And now that I have the strapping figured out, I'm pretty excited to see what it feels like to run the same distance without a floppy sandal. That's about it. No stub toes, good to go. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you could, click over here, subscribe. I have new videos coming out every week. And also click over here to see more videos. Thanks for watching. Always seek to improve and live a better life.